In this video, I'll show you how to create a narrated presentation within the Blackboard Collaborate environment. This is a nice option because it allows you to create a narrated presentation that's not dependent on PowerPoint to play back. Uh, chances are the students in your class will all have different versions of PowerPoint and may even have different computer platforms or operating systems. Uh, this means that some students may have trouble opening and playing back presentations that were originally narrated in the PowerPoint environment. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have entered the Blackboard Collaborate room that was initially set up by your instructor for you to conduct your narrated presentation. Once you're in the room, you want to look for a button in the upper right that says Load Content. This is how you'll actually bring your PowerPoint slides into the Collaborate room. So we'll go ahead and click Load Content, and then just browse for the PowerPoint presentation that you'd like to bring in. Now you'll see a few dialog boxes open up here. This is just letting you know that it's going through the process of converting your slides into images so that Collaborate can actually render the slides to the user. Now this process does take a few seconds, so you'll have to uh, give it a little bit of time to, to generate. Once all your slides have been converted to be compatible in Collaborate, you'll see that your slide shows up in the main content frame here. You'll also see another pop-up box that shows a list of all of your slides and it gives you a preview of the slide itself as well as the name of the slide. So you can keep this up if you think that you'll need to jump around from slide to slide and want to know what the slide looks like. Otherwise if you want to remove it from your view to give you a little more real estate, you can just close this out. And then you'll see, again, your slide shows up on the main content area. You can advance your slides by clicking these arrows, and this just advances from one to the next. Or if you go to this drop-down, you'll see your slides listed out. Okay, so this is just the names of your slide. Um, or the heading that you have on your slide. So let's just go back to slide one. When you're ready to begin narrating your presentation, the first thing that you want to do is make sure you hit record. This is very important because if you don't push this button, then it will not record the narration that you provide and therefore there will not be an archive of the session. So it's very important to click record. When you click record, it'll ask you if you want to start or resume. Just click OK. Recording started. And you'll hear a little notification voice that lets you know that the recording has, in fact, started. The next thing you want to do is go over to the talk button. And this will actually enable your microphone so that it will pick up whatever you're saying into the microphone at that point. So we'll go ahead and click talk. And you'll see a few notifications that let you know that your audio is enabled. You'll see a blue microphone icon here as well as here. This lets you know that you're talking and you'll also see that your microphone um, input setting is activated because I'm talking now and I can see that this is active. Okay. So what's happening now is it's actually recording anything that I say and now I can actually narrate this presentation as if I were doing it in a live setting. So I can provide my narration for slide one. When I'm ready to advance to slide two, I can just select this arrow and move to the next slide. Provide my narration for slide two. When I'm ready to advance, I can now provide my narration for slide three. So at this point, it's very similar to the process of actually narrating it in PowerPoint. Um, we're just doing it in Collaborate, so it preserves it in an easier to view format. So once I've finished my narration, gone through all my slides, and I'm finally ready to um, conclude the session, what I want to do is deselect the talk option here. Now it disables my microphone, and then go up to the recording button and hit this one more time. 
and this will ask you if you want to stop the recording and we'll go ahead and click OK. Recording stopped. And you'll hear that voice again letting you know that the recording has stopped. So now at this point you've recorded your presentation and you can go ahead and X out of the system. So we'll just click this X up here in the corner. It'll ask you if you really want to leave the session. Just click OK. You can then return to your Blackboard course to actually view your archived presentation. So if you go down to the Collaborate link, now here you'll see the original uh, Collaborate room that you entered in order to um, create the session. In order to access your archive, you want to go up to this recordings link. This will be a list of any archived recordings that have happened in that room. And now you'll see your recording is here. Uh, keep in mind that this can sometimes take up to a half hour depending on how long your presentation is to actually uh, generate the recording. So you do have to give this a little bit of time. This probably won't be available immediately, but once it is ready you'll see it in this recordings area. So let's just move it over here. So you can either click the link to view the presentation in Collaborate or you have the option to convert it to an mp3 audio file or an mp4. Okay, so these are good options if you w would like to view any of these sessions on a mobile device or just as a basic movie file. And so here, these are your options and that's how you do a narrated presentation in Collaborate.